Many of you believe that a relationship with God is possible without having love for your fellow man or for the other half of yourself or for yourself. So many of us believe that a relationship with God is possible even though we don't like ourselves, even though we have a problem with the opposite gender or the same gender, depending on what kind of attraction it is, that shall we call it, we have a problem with our soulmate attraction. And even though we treat others, who are neither of the two things at first, ourselves or our soulmate, even though we treat others badly, we believe that a relationship with God is possible. While we treat other people badly. And a relationship with God is not ever going to be possible while we treat other people badly. Ever. All right. So, of course, there's degrees of how we treat people. And so if we treat other people badly half the time, then half the time we might be able to have a relationship with God. Because the other half of the time we're treating other people well, and so therefore in that interaction we can actually have some kind of relationship with God. But if we want to become at one with God, which is being connected with God all the time, then we must have love for every single one of those people, ourselves, the other half of ourselves, and any other person. And if we really want to become at one with God, we're not only going to have to have love for that, we're going to also have to have love for all of God's living creations. And also love and respect for all of the inanimate creations and how we deal with all of them. So in other words, uh, at some point in time, we're going to have to love our physical body. So if we're there still drinking alcohol which is killing brain cells in our physical body, you can't really say in that place you love yourself. If you're still um, you know, getting angry with your partner all the time, you can't really say you love your partner. <clears throat> if you're still projecting at other people that uh, they're not as good as you or, or they're, they're worse than you are or you're condescending towards them, uh, uh, you, and even just slightly feeling frustrated with them, then you're not loving them. Right? They're allowed to have their own will, the exercise of their own will. So this is a part of not loving people. If we're using animals and other creatures for our own benefit and we're willing to destroy their life in order to have that occur, then we're not even loving them. And if we're willing to manipulate animals in order to get things from them, we're not loving them either. So... There's a lot of areas where we're not loving under those circumstances. And, and we can't expect to have a relationship with God while we're doing all those things. Because God created all those things. You, your soulmate, others, their soulmates, all other living creatures. All, everything was created by God. You can't expect to have a loving relationship with God while we're being unloving with all those things. And we're never going to be loving with all those things while our fear is the most dominant thing in our life. Because whenever compromise is put in our face, where we have to compromise what we're doing or love, we will always, if we honour fear, we'll always do what the fear dictates. We won't love. We'll always do what the fear wants. The fear has become our God for the majority of us. And the only thing that's going to reduce that is our, and improve our awareness of our own fear is truth. And what do we feel, the majority of us feel about truth? We feel, just give us enough. Isn't that how we feel most of the time? Don't give me too much, just give me enough. And, uh, and myself and Mary are often finding now, people ask us to spend a bit of time with them or whatever, and they want to ask us some personal questions. We, we generally don't do that much anymore, but um, they want to ask us personal questions and we say to them, like, are you ready to know the truth? And they say, yes. And you start a conversation 10 minutes in, there's no willingness to know the truth, generally, at all. Because everyone has a fear threshold that's usually quite small, in fact. Most people are not willing to be challenged in any way with regard to their fears. And so, because their fear threshold is very small, you're only ever going to get to know a little bit of truth. 
So it's going to be like dribble, 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 dribble type of progress. Now, if you dribble progress, there's a good chance if you've started, let's say you started progressing towards God when you're 40 or 50, and you decide to dribble the progress, then you're definitely going to die before you're at one with God. If you decide to dribble it, you know, it's like, it's like drip, 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 you know, like, you know, eventually the glass will get full, but only after many millions of drips. Right? Is that what you want? And while that's all happening, of course, there's pressures, external pressures on you, trying to get you to conform to old ways of living, old ways of belief systems and everything, all these pressures going on. And sooner or later, you probably want to conform because your fear will dictate that you do. So this problem with the fear is a huge problem for many of you still. Many of you are completely unaware of what you're afraid of, which is the biggest problem. Because if you're unaware of it, you're never going to feel it. And the only way you can let go of fear is by feeling it. You can't let go of it any other way. It's the same with grief. The only way you can let go of grief is by feeling it. The only way you can let go of anger is by feeling it. The only way you can let go of your addictions is by feeling them. That's the only way you're ever going to let go of anything, is by feeling it. And if you're unwilling to feel the fear, the grief, the anger, the addictions, then progression is not possible. And you can hear a lot of things that you agree with, but you won't have progressed. You'll be the same as you were years ago. Barbara, if you want.